This is what happens when you use four Paralysis Sword and Shields at the same time in Monster Hunter Now. In a single hunt, we triggered Paralysis three times and killed 7-star Anjanath despite focusing on the hind legs, which are a terrible hit zone. So let's try to hunt a 7-star Rathalos now, but this time we'll attack the weak point. After this message from our sponsor. It is the year 2029 and the world is on the brink of extinction. It is your time now to take off to the stars and save this world. In this newest game, made by the developers of Genshin Impact, you get to take on the role of a trailblazer and explore different worlds in the universe with more than 20 playable characters who each have their own unique personality, story and charm. Honkai Star Rail features complete 3D environments with free camera support and a new turn-based combat system which stands out due to its really beautiful graphics and animations. And the game already shows a lot of success. In the first 6 months after release, it was already downloaded over 80 million times. Honkai Star Rail is free to play on mobile and PC, but it also just became available on PS5, where you can seamlessly sync your account data between PC and mobile. The 1.4 update has just gone live, which introduced the new limited 5-star character Jing Liu, a female female hero who has her eyes covered in black and uses an ice sword for combat. This update also brings the young business savvy to pass and her fire type pet called Numbi. Players get to experience a new story which takes place on two new maps, the Pearls of Creation and the Old Weapon Testing Ground. And if you log in for 7 days, you get 10 free summons for Jing Liu or to pass. Honkai Star Rail is free to play on Android, iOS and PC and you can download the game via our link in the video description. Once you're in the game, use our promo code to get 50 Seller Jades for free. Big thanks to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring our video. This time we got 3 paras again, but also a KO because the shield bash at the end of the SNS combo deals KO damage. When hunting solo, it's almost impossible to KO any monster with SNS, but in multiplayer we almost always manage to proc one KO, as long as we all focus on the head. So as you can see, paralysis is quite strong in Monster Hunter now and especially in multiplayer. But why is it so strong? Well, paralysis works differently in this game compared to the main series games. First of all, when we started to play together, Vicery noticed that his arrow with the bow dealt more damage whenever a monster was paralyzed. He investigated his claim and yeah, indeed, he was right. In Monster Hunter Now, when attacking a paralyzed monster, you deal 10% more damage. That's huge. Here you can see side by side the difference between attacking a Rathian's head on the left side and when it's paralyzed on the right side. Every hit deals 10% more damage. 
and this damage increase even lasts until the animation completely ends. So a bit longer than the duration of the yellow paralysis effect that you can see in the game. Now that we know paralysis increases our damage, it's time to test this with three paralysis SNS and one elemental bow build, optimized for high damage against this seven star Anginath. So with one less para SNS, we only got two paralysis this time, but also a KO, which sadly got interrupted by a head break. Niantic, in case you see this video, please make it so part breaks do not interrupt paras and KOs. It's super sad every time this happens and you lose a big opening to deal damage. Anyway, the hunt here took us roughly the same time compared to when we hunted Anjanath with four para SNS. So three para players is totally enough when pairing with a high damage dealing player. But let's face it, these are four player hunts and for normal players it's insanely difficult to even find one other good player to team up with. So replicating a four player hunt would be almost impossible for most people. So then let's try this in two player, shall we? How fast can Artemis and I kill a seven star Rathalos with two para SNS? We absolutely destroyed this Rathalos and that was 10 seconds faster than the 4 player hunt, even though Artemis whiffed half of his perfect rush at the end. So that means no need to panic, not just 4 player hunts are favorable, but so are 2 player hunts as well. As a comparison, when I try to hunt Rathalos in solo with this great 7 SNS, I'm always a good 10 seconds slower at least. Sometimes I even fail the time limit, and that is due to multiplayer HP scaling. The Japanese website 9db lists these exact percentage values of monster HP in multiplayer. In solo they have 100% HP, that makes sense, then in 2 player 150%, in 3 player 200%, and in 4 player 300%. Take these values with a grain of salt, I am not sure if they are 100% trustworthy, but I do have to say this seems realistic when comparing our experience playing with different amounts of hunters in multiplayer. This would mean that playing in solo the, is the most difficult way to play this game, and that's definitely true. When you play in two players, the monster HP only equals about 75% per hunter, and the same goes for four player. So that makes three player then the best way to play this game, as you only have 66% HP for the monster per hunter to deal with. And judging by some of our three player hunts, yeah, that could be true. We were able to kill a seven star Rathalos in just 53 seconds with two grade seven para SNS and one grade six elemental bow. So then let me give the overall summary about paralysis. I just hit hunter rank 70 and I've been using this SNS roughly 1500 times, judging by the medal I have. So how good is it? Because I did recommend this weapon specifically to you guys in this video a few weeks ago, and now that I reached eight star monsters, was it worth it? I would say yes, absolutely. I feel like having a little lower raw attack compared to the pure raw alternatives like Paolumo or Baroth, but paralysis on top is 100% worth it, especially with the 10% damage boost on paralysis. Also, you can use this SNS against literally every monster in the game, even Jiro's. Having to focus only on upgrading one single main weapon to progress is so much easier than focusing on four different elemental weapons, which you need to upgrade at the same time. I mean, it is a fact that elemental weapons deal a lot more damage if you fight a monster weak to that specific element. Right now, I have two elemental longswords on grade 6, but the problem is that it's so grindy to upgrade them as well as all the armor parts which give fire and ice attack and so on, and also switching between the loadouts every single time before you hunt another monster weak to another element is also a bit tedious after a while, and especially that you can only save a maximum of five loadouts. That's simply not enough 
enough if you already occupy four spots with fire, water, thunder, and ice. And the toughest part is that you constantly lack Xenies when upgrading so many different elemental builds. With the Para SNS, I never had any of these issues. And I have to say, I've been able to kill every single seven star urgent quest up until now with this great seven Para SNS, no problem. Now though, for eight star monsters, I'm kind of hitting a ceiling. And that's why I'm focusing on upgrading my elemental longswords further. Vaisuri, who is a bow player and invested into elemental bows from the beginning of the game, now has an advantage in late game. He already built the foundation of these elemental builds. But that definitely cost him some time in the past and he definitely progressed slower than Michi or me in the past because both of us used the para SNS from the beginning. For now though, I am definitely glad that I chose this para SNS as my main weapon. It got me all the way to 8 star pretty comfortably and it's still insanely good for farming 6 star monsters, which you want to farm a lot because they are easy to do and they give 100 zennies. With Divine Blessing level 5, I can literally farm these monsters the entire day and 5 free potions are enough for me. And yeah, lastly, this para SNS is also super good for playing with friends and I think even once I have all of the elemental longsword builds finished in the future, I will still keep using this para SNS a lot more moving forward. But for now, I want to know from you guys, which weapons do you guys use in now? And also, do you have a build with Divine Blessing, which you use for farming like I do? Let me know down below in the comments. And with that said, my name is Chris, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the true strength of paralysis in MH now. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video, which is about elemental damage in MH now and about the best elemental weapons in the game. Making these videos takes so much more time than I thought it would because the game is so grindy. So I hope you guys are a bit patient with me. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.